Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Alright, uh, it's been a while and uh, we are going to be preparing for the exams with your favorite uncle. So if you have not subscribed, please just make sure you do the right thing. Alright, so today we're going to look at some probability question uh, using Venn diagrams, right? So let's get right into it. They say a survey was done amongst 80 learners uh, on their favorite spot. The results are shown below right so they say 52 learners like rugby right and we've got 48 learners that like volleyball and five learners like chess only now when you're going to approach these kind of questions on what is vague please don't start processing information of, on what you really uh, do not have sufficient information on let me tell you what i mean so if you look at the first information, they said 52 learners like rugby. Now, we don't know if those 52 learners like rugby only, or is it rugby and volleyball, or rugby and chess, or whatever the case may be, right? So in this case, I, I can't really put that on my Venn diagram as yet. We just know that the totality of those number uh, of learners that like rugby is 52. Similarly, with the 42 learners that like volleyball, right? We don't know if they like volleyball on something else, but we do know that they like volleyball. However, on the one for chess, right? They are quite clear. They said they like chess only. Now, let's draw our sample space. Of course, 9.1 uh, does ask us uh, to draw that Venn diagram, right? So I am going to draw my sample space there right okay let's try and make it as neat as clear as possible right and um, there's my sample space so i'll say well this represent uh, rugby this will represent uh, the volleyball and let's say this circle represents this um, the, the chess right so i'll say this is the rugby this is the volleyball and this is the chess, right? All right. Now, in this case, they said to us, okay, we've got five that like chess only. So um, let's start with those ones because we know for sure what where they belong. So I'm going to put the five over there, right? Those like chess only. I know in this case that they would not fall anywhere else on the other circles, right? Right. So... And then we've got, uh, we've got, they say to us, 14 learners like rugby and volleyball, but not chess. So let's see the intersection between rugby and volleyball, but not chess. So it will be, okay, uh, sorry about that. So it will be that space over there, right? So in this case, they said it's 14 of them. So I know this number over here will be 14 right and then we've got 12 learners that like rugby and chess but not volleyball so like uh, rugby and chess they said to us it's 12 learners right so we know this here intersection between rugby and chess is over there so they said it's 12 learners and then we've got 15 learners that like volleyball and chess but not rugby okay so volleyball and chess but not rugby that's 15 over there Right, and then I go on to say X number of learners like all types of sports. So the intersection between all three of our elements in this case. So we've got uh, X over there, right, where all my circles intersect. Right, and then uh, now they said three learners did not like any of the sports. So it me which means this will fall outside of our elements but within our sample space right and please note it means that the data or rather the sample space is really not exhaustive why because there will be some learners that do not fall within any of the elements right okay so uh, now let's go back to the guys that like rugby they said 40 uh, 52 learners like rugby right so that means if you look at this for the rugby okay it would be the 12 that fall within that circle 
it would be x and it would be 14 right and the total number in that circle so uh, let's call these uh, let's call this r dash right so that number r dash plus the 12 plus uh, the x plus the 14 must give us that number 52 right because uh, all 52 must be the ones that like rugby so i'm gonna say r dash so these are the ones that exclusively like rugby but remember it means the 12 plus the x plus the 14 right and all of this must give us 52 so we're gonna look for the number uh, r dash in this case so I'm going to say 12 plus uh, 14, that would give us 26. So R dash plus 26 plus X is equal to 52. And so that means that R dash would be, uh, if I take the 26 to the other side, it becomes negative. So 52 minus 26 will give us 26. And if I take the X to the other side, it also becomes negative. So in this case, I've got 26 minus x so that means the number here should be 26 minus the x okay right and then let's look for the volleyball now they said for volleyball we've got 42 learners in total so note uh, which are the learners that like volleyball that's the 15 plus the x plus the 14 right let's call that v dash right so in this case it means the ones that like uh, volleyball only plus the 15 plus the 14 plus the x and this would give us 42 right so to get v dash in this case uh, that would be plus 15 plus 14 that's 29 plus x which is equal to 42 and so v dash is equal to 42 minus the 29 okay so that would give us uh, 13 right and that's minus x so that means that v dash should be 13 minus x and so that is how we will get our sample space right uh, that's how we will populate every single thing within our Venn diagram right now the next question they say show that x is equal to 8 now remember that means everything inside of our space right how many learners in total did we have uh, they said the survey is done amongst 80 learners so we're going to add everything up okay uh, so this was 9.1 and so we're going on to 9.2 now so we're going to add everything within our space so i'm going to add 26 uh, minus x plus the 12 plus the x plus the 14 plus the 13 uh, minus x plus the 15 plus the 5 and plus the 3 and all of that must give us x um, i mean uh, 80 right so we said that's going to be 26 minus x plus the 12 plus 14 plus x so that's 12 plus 14 plus x please remember not to uh, count the same thing twice so plus fifth plus 5 plus 15 so this is plus 5 plus 15 plus the 13 minus x okay uh, i think we're done uh, did we add the 14 yes we did and this is plus the 3 and all of this must be equal to 80 and of course i can uh, bet that you already see that we're going to cancel that okay so we've got 26 plus 12 plus 14 um, this is plus 5 plus 15 plus 13 plus 3 all right so that would give us 88 right so minus that x there and this would give us 80 all right and of course if we do some gymnastics there so minus x would be 80 minus the 88 okay so that's minus x equal to negative 8 so x is equal to 8 all right so that means we know now the value of x 
All right, so we uh, get to the next question. They say, how many learners like rugby only, right? You remember when we go into our Venn diagram, these are the ones that like rugby only. So that's 26 minus X. So for 9.3, we're going to have the 26 minus uh, the X, but we know now that X is 8. So 26 minus 8, that should be 18. So that's 18 learners in total all right and uh, for 9.4 right um, they say calculate the probability that a learner chosen randomly likes at least two different types of sports now remember once we use the word at least it means that um, the minimum should be two but it can accommodate more than two right so it means from two upwards uh, is going to be included in this case right so um, where are the ones that like more than one sports right so definitely these ones the 15 the 12 the 14 they like two but remember the x that should be more than two isn't it they said a minimum of two at least two so we're going to add those up and divide by uh, the number of learners in total so that's 14 plus 15 plus 12 plus the 8 okay so that's 14 plus the 15 right plus the 15 plus the 12 plus the 8 okay and all of this divided by the total number of learners okay uh, and that would give us, uh, in this case, the, uh, the probability. So that's going to give us, that's 20, that's 35. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 49, right? Okay, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. So this would be 49 over 80, right? So all of those like rugby, um, I mean, uh, like at least two types of sports all right i hope that makes sense guys right uh, um you know please keep in mind that um you know this probability stuff is really not that difficult if you know what to do right so i hope that you guys will uh, benefit from from this uh, question otherwise i'll see you guys next time we'll continue with our revision all right uh, look out for more all right from me for now i'll see you next time shop shop